You're listening to the station that launched a worldwide music revolution. WZOEFM.com. Hey, what's good out there? All around the world with Rick Kim and Drew here's 92.1. WZOEFM.com. That's where we broadcast you from. Music from the far reaches of the world coming live and direct to your ears, your hearts, your minds, and souls. Keeping your mindset global and your love universal. Shaman Arcade back again with a new edition of All Around the World. And we are so pleased and happy to have the super singer, songwriter extraordinaire, and producer, Catrice. Catrice, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing this evening, Ricky? All right. I'm hanging in there. We're rolling with it. Everything is cool. I know you and I, you know, we talked, we've been talking for a while, back and forth, emailing and texting and trying to get this interview thing to uh, jump off. So tonight we finally got it locked in and I'm super happy about that. (laughs) Super happy about that. Me too, me too. (laughs) I wanted to um, just um, kind of hop right in and wanted to, you know, to get your, kind of like your background, um, you know, where your, where your music is coming out of, and, you know, just tell us a little bit about the, the world of the trees. Okay, yeah, well, originally, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Nope. Uh, I lived there until I was about seven years old, and then I moved with my family to Kokomo, Indiana, and that's pretty much where I grew up in Kokomo. But, you know, we still went back and forth to Chicago every year. Um, I spent the summer with my family there, my, the rest of my extended family that's still in Chicago. And, and so I really feel like I'm from both places. I'm pretty much a Midwestern, and now I'm in uh, Orlando. Okay. And I've been there for the last five years. Mm-hmm. Now, Orlando is like, you know, they're saying like that's the East Coast, like the East Coast Hollywood almost, you know? With the Pretty music. much, yeah. <laughs> That is awesome. That is awesome. So, you um are you know this is going to be this is actually your first music pro um your first full length project. Embrace my music vision is the ti- uh, is the title of the CD. And um, just kind of tell us a little bit about the whole concept, how you came about the um, the title, you know, the whole concept of Embrace My Music Vision, and what that's all about. Okay. Well, um, I can't. The music vision, I've been saying embrace my music vision for, for years and years and years and years. Back since, since I was a child, really. Mm. And, yeah, so, I mean, because I've, I've been writing songs pretty much since I was uh, 14 years old. Wow, um, okay, okay. Yeah, so it has, it, it, there's, a, there's definitely a lot of history there. And I guess throughout the years of saying it over and over and over again, I, I finally came to the conclusion, like, you know what, I should do, I should make that my first CD, call it Embrace. At first it was called The Music Vision, and then mm-hmm. I changed it to Embrace My Music Vision because that's what I've always said, you know, all these oh. years. Yeah. And music is at the core of what I'm passionate about, so I figured what better what better first project to be than to write about my love, my, my deepest inner passion for music. And so that's what the album is all about. It's all about um, my passion for music, um, both directly and indirectly. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is powerful. Now, you've been speaking, you've been speaking that, that, you know, you brought your vision into life, you know, so to speak, because... You know something that you've been speaking about you know since you know since you were a child and now you have a you know just a tangible uh uh product of what that of the embodiment of the um, the, the embodiment of that whole phrase which are which are these songs that you've uh, that you've written for embrace my music vision now i we talked a little bit uh before we kind of went live here and you were telling me that now, for most of the CD, or all the CD, now all the songs are essentially written by you. That's correct. Yes. Now, as far as your, you know, your your production team, uh, did you did you work with, uh, you know, a, a few different um, um, music producers, or do you have one exclusive partnership? Um, how, how does that work? Well, I actually wanted to work 
uh, with more of a variety of people, but at the time that I was recording the album, there wasn't really a lot of people available. So I ended up just kind of doing some collaborate, collaborating with B-Rob of B-Rob Productions. He's a very uh, talented music producer, track producer. And uh, he actually did three beats on the album for me. He did the beat for Embrace the Vision. Uh, he did the beat for uh, Play Me Some Music. And he did the beat for Energy. So, oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah, it really turned out to be a beautiful collaboration. And and um, he's been a great inspiration for me. His beats really inspired me to write the lyrics. It's like the lyrics just poured out of me on those on those three tracks after hearing his beat and, you know, the the uh, uh, melodic energy that he has in, in his track. So um, definitely it was more than just, you know, a basic collaboration. It was, a, it was like you said, a real partnership, and, and he's like a mentor to me, you know. He really gave me a lot of helpful advice and information along the way as well. So I'm very grateful to him for uh, working on this project with me. I, I definitely think that his, his beats added a lot to the CD.